been a while. Not sure exactly how much. Yeah. See what happens, right? You probably don't have an angle on the, uh, but I'll be watching the gas saver gauge there. Decent, eh? One round of crank and then up she goes. Sometimes I'm quite surprised because, uh, you know, if this is here, it's probably been four months. And you'd think even just the evaporation that you might get out of a couple of fuel lines or whatever would, you know, mean that the mechanical pump is going to take a lot more than that. But that was fucking decent. And I have to tell you, I wish we had Smellorama on YouTube because uh, I love me some unburnt hydrocarbons. Sorry, that's just how it fucking goes. I'm not a battery guy. And old cars give the best aroma of unburnt or poorly consumed hydrocarbons. You know, it just it doesn't get better than that. This bitch is grandfathered, so you can't even. Uh, well, we don't do uh, we don't do emissions testing here anyway. But um, even if we did, this you know, I think in Canada this is it, 74. I think might even be a little higher in Canada. I know in California it's 74. It has to be prior in order to avoid all the uh, emissions testing. Oddly, Ontario um, here in Canada. Um, got rid of uh, general vehicle uh, emissions tests except for commercial vehicles which is really weird because they were strict about it for years you had to get uh, like after a car was a certain age you'd have to get it tested every other year or something like that or I don't know maybe even yearly might have been every other year anyway for them to throw all that out is, is pretty bizarre I just didn't see that I, I didn't see that coming those sorts of regulations usually just don't go away they, they kind of hang in there That was a beauty start, really. I wasn't expecting that at all. Not quite like that. I like it. Temperatures is barely off the low. High idle's working like a motherfucker. Anyway, super proud. I'm proud of the blue girl. She's just a fucking machine, man. Right now she's trapped behind the uh, parked uh, Studebaker in front of us. The 66 is next to us, which could come out, and I would be able to get out of here by, by fixing that. But uh, I'm not going anywhere today. I just want to come and have some car fun. It's been a while since I had any uh, car-related shit out You know, if I were a smart man, oh, it's a different mount. I would take this off because it's a beautiful uh, fucking mirror and put it on the 66. Oh, but it's not chrome. No, it can't work. Fuck. No one's chrome. It's way nicer. Nope. Oh, sorry. I was talking about the night uh, vision thing, which I try not to drive uh, the Valiant at night anymore. My, my vision is, you know, the dark, dark vision isn't as great and also the the lights just, they're not like, they're not modern, right? So it gets a little, I, I will still do it, but it gets a little sketch. Yeah, still even uh, idle there, we're still at 18 uh, inches of mercury, relatively strong just in the excellent range, so we're getting good gas mileage right now. Highly important in this day and age. Although this hasn't touched a gas pump in a while, I can tell. Usually I just kind of take some of Kara's uh, grass cut 
grass, <laughs> grass cut gas, and uh, dump it in the tank when she's not looking. Oh, it's struggling, man. I can feel it. It's unhappy. It's not bouncing around, but it's just like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Feel it in my bum. that for the sound of power. Maybe not. One barrel. Yeah, I can smell this gas, dude. Anyway, that's good. You know, get the oil flowing. Temperature's only slowly coming up. I'm quite surprised, but uh, still, got some temp in her. And that's really all I wanted to uh, wanted to do. It's not wise right now for me to drive, but uh, you know, in the old days or on a past video, I'd probably uh, just go for a quick spin down to the beach and back. But uh, no, not taking my chances today. Let's just see how we're going, gear. Yes. Actually, this transmission has always been better than the one in the '66. Um, it doesn't jump into second. 66 doesn't always, but it really depends on the RPM range order. So it was just like, boom, lurch. And I had that transmission uh, fully rebuilt, so it, I don't know. It's a function, I guess. It's, it's, it, it's totally livable. It just feels a little wrong. This one's always been uh, quite a bit smoother. Of course, it's almost 10 years older. So, a few little things here and there. Anyway, yeah, no, solid idle, lots of vacuum. I would consider that fantastically successful. Anyway, I suppose there's no real excitement here per se, but uh, you know, it's a regular task to just make sure that uh, the cars will uh, indeed run. I've still got two to work with the Mercury and also I really need to get on the Studebaker. I mean, it's been sitting there a year now. It was a year ago, roughly now that we pulled it out and I feel bad about that. Time flies, holy Jesus. But anyway, I'm not even sure if I need to unstick the Studebaker engine, to be perfectly honest with you. My intuition says it's probably lightly stuck. But I think we can overcome that. I don't think it's... Uh, it definitely didn't seize up while running or anything. That, that would be a different chore, but... It's been enough years that it hasn't started that I would say it's probably uh, got some rust on the rings and it'll be... Uh, yeah, take a little bit of the secret sauce down the spark holes, you know. That'll cure what ails it. And then a big motherfucking wrench in order to... Uh, Turn it over by hand. All right, anyway, I'm rambling now. So um, enjoy thyself, and uh, we will chat soon. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you along for uh, for whatever. Talk soon. Bye.